What up, Randys? Welcome to another special installment of Amiibo Facts and Theories, where today, we're looking a little more into the cemented facts over those pesky theories. And that, my friends, means numbers. See, we here at Random Tens found ourselves debating who was the rarest of all the Amiibo, and so we decided to monitor some eBay sales to get to the bottom of this puzzle once and for all. Since late December up until the end of April, we've been painstakingly recording and generating a top 10 list of each and every Amiibo's average sale price. And now, we're sharing this list and all of our top secret numbers with you guys. Before we do though, it's worth mentioning that this list and the numbers on it aren't 100% bulletproof. This is an aggregated list of random sales over the past four months, and because of this, among other factors such as shipping, this list is simply an overall picture of where the market currently stands. It's a friggin' sweet picture with close to perfect accuracy, but yeah, there are admittedly a few flaws, so nothing is perfectly represented here. A few last notes to mention are the fact that every amiibo on this list is North American, the sales are always in US dollars, we accumulated at least 25 minimum sales on each amiibo figurine, and we've included a flat shipping rate on every single sale we processed, so yeah, Shipping is included in this countdown, unless the listing stated otherwise. So without further ado, I'm gonna shut up and answer the number one question you've all been waiting for. Who is the rarest amiibo of them all? We're starting the list with a Wave 2 unicorn who has a flair for spandex and a pretty great catchphrase. Falcon's amiibo isn't quite on par with the other Wave 2 unicorns, but he is one of the few amiibo on this list who's actually grown in value every single month, even if it's only a little bit here and there. My advice is grab him if you spot one for a good price, because who knows when another F-Zero game is coming. You'd think one of the four exclusives from Wave 3 would be a little higher on this list, but no, here he is. Okay, that may be true, and it is partially due to his re-release news and Xenoblade 3DS, but weirdly enough, Shulk is the fourth fastest growing amiibo on eBay right now, month over month, and only four cents removed from the number 8's average pricing. He's one of the most detailed so far, and I have a feeling he's only going to go up once June comes. So. Buy cheap if you can, and get his restock when it comes to stores this May. Four cents is all that separates Lucario from Shulk in pricing, and if this video was made only a month ago, weirdly enough this Gen 4 Pokemon wouldn't even have made this list. Lucario is the fastest rising amiibo on this entire countdown, with almost 19% growth since last month alone, and it's likely because of how well Toys R Us handled his original distribution. Now that all of his stock has gone through though, we're seeing him quickly rise in tandem with the other store exclusives, and as you'll see, he's about right where he should be at this point in time. And unless a re-release is announced anytime soon, we expect Lucario to only climb this list. Queen of the Stars is again very similar in third party sales when compared to the other Wave 3 exclusives and extremely similar to Lucario's story. Now she hasn't quite experienced the same amount of growth as Lucario, but she is growing with more rapid consistency than the other exclusives. Due to her new Mario Party incarnation, we believe it would be wise to pick one up ASAP, as she's only going to go higher with a low possibility of being restocked. Target themselves even said so. Okay, so we're finally at the end of the exclusives, and oddly, it's everyone's favorite anti-hero who trumps the rest. The reason for this is simple. Best Buy done goofed hard with this guy. Many stores across North America never even had any that weren't allocated for pre-orders, and so his scarcity has caused this amiibo to be the most popular of the four horsemen. However, despite this growth, I heavily advise against picking one up until the recently announced June re-releases of him and DDD come to market. If there's enough influx of new figures, expect this character to dip significantly over the summer. All 
Our second Wave 2 amiibo on the countdown, but far from the last, Palutena's right-hand man is easily the most consistent of all the characters on this list, with barely a 1% month-to-month increase. He recently just saw a blind re-release on GameStop, and it's possible we may see more sometime this summer, but still, I would buy this one in a heartbeat if you get the chance for anywhere around $45, and really need this angelic trophy in your life. Everyone's least favorite fighter turned figure, We Fit is where the prices jump up a little more and get into the true unicorn rarity level. She's still the cheapest of the Trinity by far and does fluctuate quite a bit from month to month, but yeah, she certainly doesn't fetch the $70 and up she once did during Marth's reign as the Amiibo King. Still though, this is one we can almost guarantee will be the last manufactured in the event of a full restock, so if it's worth it to you and you want to complete a collection or something, go for it now while she's still not in the hundreds range. This guy came out of nowhere and likely won't be seeing a re-release anytime soon. He's easily the hardest to find Wave 2 Amiibo on the market currently and one of the best looking as well. If I had $100 to spend on any one single Amiibo, this is the one I would get as the sky is the limit for this petite boxing figurine, and he's by far the most obscure character on the list, which as we mentioned previously, means hardly any chance of a proper restock. This is because Japan really doesn't appreciate the character like we do here in the US. And remember, it's Nintendo Japan that calls the shots of restock availability. Be cautious, however, that a small amount of remnant figures found themselves in Best Buy last month, so keep vigilant just in case he comes to a store near you. The King has been dethroned, but even with the talk of a re-release due to codename Steam, Marth is still the second best-selling amiibo on the second-hand market. The gap is closing very quickly, and I imagine by June, Little Mac should overtake him but it all depends on how many get a restock next month. If it's a lot, he could become on par with Ike or Shulk, but if not, well, he could potentially reach disgusting numbers. My advice is just to wait it out for May, but after that, try to grab one as fast as you can if you need the king in your life. Ever thought that it'd be the Animal Crossing representative that would massacre your wallet. I mean sure, Shulk I get, Captain Falcon maybe, Little Mac fine, but Villager? And yet here we are in the elusive $100 and up club, and sitting atop the mountain on his throne of blood, sweat and tears is the psychotic smasher all by himself. To put it simply, Villager is the new Mark, aka the poster boy for amiibo scarcity. And because of this and the new Animal Crossing game coming in the fall, I personally foresee a re-release of this elusive player figurine sometime in the late summer. Will this happen for sure? Maybe not with all of the cards and the new amiibo still hitting shelves in the coming months, but I don't know. If we needed a villager, we'd suggest waiting until September before spending your whole paycheck on the baby-faced wallet buster. That's it for the month, and boy was it a doozy. Lots of growth and not a lot of news. Let's hope Nintendo gets it together soon, and hopefully Wave 5 is a little easier to obtain. Either way, if you enjoyed this video, check out our most recent one on the Wave 4 GameStop Massacre. And if you're new to the Amiibo game, click here to check out our overview of the product as a whole. We make a new video on Amiibo every two to three weeks, so subscribe to Random Tens for more official Amiibo news and become a baby rhino. Also, follow us on Twitter, at Random10, for breaking Amiibo news and pre-orders as they happen live. Until then, friends, good luck with Wave 4, and as always, happy hunting!